So in this lesson today, we're going to learn um, how to find the nth formula for any sequence. So in some sequences, we can use the patterns to predict a formula It's called the nth term formula. And this formula generates the terms of the sequence. Let's see an example on that. So assuming that the pattern shown by the square tiles in the following figures continues, we need to find three things. So the first thing is, the first question is, what is the nth term formula for the sequence? So the nth term is basically for the number of tiles in the nth figure okay so how many tiles will it have so that would be the nth term right and the second thing is to find out a specific number so how many tiles are going to be there in the eighth figure so that's something we need to find out so let's say in the eighth figure we need to find a number of tiles without actually drawing the tiles and the third question that we'll have to answer is that so which figure will contain 320 tiles. So these are the three questions that we need to answer based on the pattern that's shown by the square files in the figure. So this is a pattern that we have. As you can see in the second term there is two tiles on each side and there's one tile in the middle in the next one there is three tiles on each side and there are two in the middle right just kind of making a trend and in the fourth term you see that there are three, um, there's four tiles on each side and there's three tiles in the middle. So based on what we see, so the nth figure, right? 
So basically, if I need to find out how many number of tiles does it have, so it can be expressed as an expression or expressed by, expressed by an expression, which is a n is equal to, you have twice the number of tiles, number of tiles plus one time that. So why did we say twice here? Because you have two times you each on two side, right? And then once you simplify this, you're going to get this. So let's see what happens here. So what happened here? So what we did was, why did we do two times n? Because you had that formation on each side, right? So if the number is uh, n, the formation is coming twice. And then it's in the middle, it's one less than that. So if the number is 2, um, the, in the middle, it's uh, n minus 1. It's only coming one time. So when you simplify this by adding combine like and by combining like terms, we're going to get a 2n plus n is going to give us 3n minus 1. So the next question that we saw was that how do you, um, how, what's the number of number of tiles in the eighth term, right? So as you see, our n is going to be 8, right, in the expression. So all we have to do is we're going to write our formula that we just made, which is a n equal to, yeah, all we do is plug in the 8 for n, right? And then we distribute that 3, and that's uh, that's going to give you 24 minus 3. So that's, that's going to give you that as an answer, okay? So our third part in this question was, for which term is our total number of terms which is given to us, but we don't know what the n is. So basically, it's like a back solving. So um, which figure or which number of figure will have 320 tiles? Okay. So basically, our number of tiles becomes 320. And then we need to set up the formula and we need to solve here for n. So basically that's called like back solving. Right? So and then you solve for n. So add 1 to both sides. And then that's going to give you 3n. And that's going to be 321 is equal to 3n. And then you divide by 3. And that will give you n is equal to 107. So that means for which number we have 320 tiles? For 107th term, we're going to have 320 tiles. Alright, so this was problem solving using patterns.